Hi and welcome to Dan's Diagnostics. Today we've got my very own Mark IV Focus ST. I'm going to show you how to put the electronic parking brake into maintenance mode. Today what we are using is Forescam on a laptop and a cheap OBD interface connector that I purchased off Amazon. This can be purchased for less than £20 and I'll show the link in the description below. After unpacking you can see it's just got a little bit of information. It's got an up arrow and a down arrow saying high speed cam, medium speed cam. There is a little switch here that you do have to toggle and I'll show you this when we actually get connected up to the vehicle. The OBD2 connector connects directly up to the data link connector in the vehicle and a little USB connector. So let's get it connected up. So I've now got the connector connected up to the vehicle, USB connector connected up to the laptop. Force scan is now loaded. So the first thing we need to do Turn on the ignition, come over to the screen, click OK. Down the bottom left here, it says connect to vehicle. And you can read, ignition key is in the on position, which we've just done. The high speed, medium speed cam switch on the ELM327 is in the high speed cam position. So we just make sure this is pushed over to the high speed cam position. Make sure the vehicle's not moving, which obviously it isn't. We click OK. And now, I have been connected up with Forescan in the past for this car. But now it's just going to quickly flick through reading all the different modules on the vehicle. Now you can see we've got a new pop-up saying this vehicle may contain a medium speed cam modules. Does your ELM adapter have high speed medium cam switch? Yes. So now we come back over, we've just got to flick the switch to the medium speed side. Click OK. Just click here to save the profile for this vehicle. Sitting down here ready. It's not picked up a right lot of modules, but anyway, I've noticed here, I've not noticed this before, but I have seen it now. We do have a DTC, the BCM, system voltage low, and one in the BCM, transmitter identification code. We're not bothered about them today. What we do want to do now though is come down to the spanner. It's better. I turned the camera off and I just had a little play. I wondered why I weren't getting all the modules. We've now got all the modules reading properly. So, I've clicked on the spanner. I've scrolled down. And you can see, under ABS, it says enter electric parking brake maintenance mode. So what we do is we highlight it. We click play. And then we get up this little pop-up box. So enter electric parking brake maintenance mode. This procedure puts the module into the service position for changing brake pads or calipers. The calipers will be retracted and locked in place so the brake pads can be replaced. No other command can be used other than exit maintenance mode at this point. Please make sure that the following initial conditions are met. Ensure the parking brake is released. Make sure that the transmission gear selector is in park position. And ensure that the brake pedal is not pressed. See now it's saying ABS electric parking brake. Maintenance mode has been started. If we look at the cluster at the same time, we've got a bunch of warning messages coming up. And back at the screen, enter electric, electric parking brake maintenance mode, completely necessary work. Replacing brake pads or servicing calipers. Run exit maintenance mode, service function when the work is finished. So we click OK. And then we see service procedure completed successfully. Happy days. So we'll get the work done and then I'll show you what we do next. If you have electronic parking brake on the back of your vehicle, you do not actually need to wind it back. You can just squeeze the piston back as you would normal calipers. On the front of the vehicle anyway. New rear discs and pads are now fitted. Come back to Forescam and up in the top left corner it says service procedures. 
here if we click this and we come back down you can see we're still highlighted for enter electric parking brake maintenance mode directly underneath it it says exit electric parking brake maintenance mode so we'll click that come down and hit the play button and then another pop-up box exit electric parking brake maintenance mode run this procedure after replacing the brake pads or servicing a caliper the park brake si system will be in its normal rest position this procedure also triggers a calibration run and resets the maintenance mode lock this is the only command which can be executed after entering maintenance mode so we click OK you can see it's saying that it's now been started the cluster again pops up different messages won't be able to pick that up on camera but you can actually hear the parking brake motors actually working the screen itself you can see is jumping up to 100% and it says it's completed successfully. We look back at the cluster. We always get a hill start assist not available message warning coming up. Nothing to worry about, that'll go off when we drive the car. You can now see everything is normal. On the screen it's saying service procedure completed successfully. And that is it. Jobs are good and I did want to show you this on the laptop, unfortunately the laptop has just died so I'm having to do this on my phone, record the screen. If you come onto YouTube itself, show you, click on YouTube, in the search bar at the top, search for SY Diagnostics and you can see this is one of my friend's YouTube channels. SY for Skoda Yoda, that's who he used to be, he's now the Lord of Ford. It's got plenty of videos on here, you really do need to check these out. Very, very good diagnostic technician. But the whole point of this mainly was to show you if you go into his playlist, he's actually got a full list of four scan tutorials. Beginner's guide on how to download it for free, installing it, and then navigating through what each button does, how to view the live data. There's plenty of information in these videos to get you very familiar with Forescam and using the connector I showed you early on in the video you should be able to do plenty with your own vehicle you really do need to check this guy out please do please enjoy and if you've liked today's video then please do hit the like button please comment and please do subscribe to my channel it'll help me out massively I should note that Earlier on, I mentioned I'll post a link to the diagnostic connector. I will get commission through Amazon if you do purchase it through that link. I do need to let you know that. Right, guys. Thanks for watching.